Okay, so Monday I had the uh, awesome experience, uh, lucid dream, out of body experience, virtual reality experience. These kind of lucid dreams I get every morning. Very few times where I don't get something like this. I mean, where I don't get my lucid dreams. Just once in a blue moon, I'll wake up and it's like, well, I didn't get crap this morning. But these kind of lucid dreams I normally don't talk about because they're so long. And, you know, they're kind of boring. So I don't, normally don't talk about those. But I just decided to talk about these. These are the kinds that are like uh, C plus lucid dreams. Uh, not C plus, more like B minus. But I get these every morning, these kind of experiences. Walking around a hotel for hours and hours and hours. Walking around a grocery store. Whatever, just doing boring, mundane things or whatever. So these types I normally don't talk about, but I just decided to talk about them for whatever reason. Okay, so um, Monday I got the cool, well, like I said, I got the awesome abduction last week by Joel, where he came to my bedside, and that was a blast. Like I said, he put his big old foot in the uh, middle of my legs, because I was laying on my back, and I tried to reach down there, and like move, move it out of the way, and it wouldn't even budge, and his foot was like this wide. And he had a sock on. Um, so, um, anyways, I had the awesome out-of-body experience uh, a week, uh, yeah, about a week ago. But he hasn't given me one in a while. He, he had been giving me some, like, dream, lucid dreamy type of things, sexual. But um, he hasn't given me a straight-up out-of-body experience, virtual reality experience that had been, like, six or seven months um, until last Monday, October 1st. So anyway, um, so anyway, um, now I'm getting just, well, now I'm getting a bunch of lucid, uh, dreams, out-of-body experiences, virtual reality experiences, and, uh, all of these experiences, a combination of all of the three, my out-of-body experience, virtual reality experiences, those are not lucid dreams. They don't feel dreamy, like you're in another dimension. They feel mostly like 3D. So that's why I call them OBE VRs. And then if it's like lucid dreamy, then I'll say it's, you know, OBE VR lucid dreamy. Because <laughs> it's a combination of all of the three. But yeah, I did a video on all the differences. Remote views, how I experienced them. Remote views, out-of-body experiences, virtual reality experiences, lucid dreams, dream dreams, travel and remote views. I get like six different kinds of experiences. I haven't got the travel and remote views or remote views in a long time, but those are boring anyway. My lucid dreams are a blast, and my out-of-body experiences and virtual reality experiences are a blast. But there's been a couple times where I think they did take me out of body, and I was in 3D walking around. That was, I don't know, a couple times back in 2004. But, um, so, um, so yeah, so Monday I got, so this is like lucid dream week, because Monday I got the awesome experience where I was walk, walking around the hotel for many, 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 many hours, and then Tuesday, which was, uh, which was yesterday, I got the awesome lucid dream, out-of-body experience, virtual reality experience. Both or all three out-of-body experience, virtual reality, and lucid dream. Um, and um, all three of those. Um, and... Um, so Monday, like I say, I was walking around the, and I've been getting, I've been getting these experiences all my life, and I never thought anything of it till 2013. Um, you know, where I'm just walking around in these other realities, virtual reality realities that the aliens create for me, forever and ever and ever and ever. I mean, I still remember some from age seven. Well, that was my a virtual reality experience I had at age seven, and then. I remember tons of them, uh, yeah, you know, all the way age seven and up. I mean, you know what I'm just talking about now—the lucid, dreamy, virtual reality experience and out of body experience, which is all of those three things because it still feels very real. It just doesn't feel like 3D. It feels like you're in another uh, dimension. It feels very real, and I'm walking around. So yes, I'm out of body. Uh, I'm not just sitting there like, uh. Like, I just see all these impressions, uh, like most people dream like that. Like, you know, 
a lot of people told me, yeah, they, they just, you know, they, they're not walking around in experiences or whatever. They're just, they just have dream dreams. But it's just because their brains aren't, uh, the aliens didn't evolve their brain yet. Uh, or, or basically they are getting those experiences like I am, but they just don't remember them. Because a lot of people are getting these virtual reality scenarios, you know, like I'm getting the out of body experience, virtual reality scenarios by the aliens, and they're clearly remembering it. And but they just don't think about who's give giving them the experiences. So it's it's just that you know everybody's getting these experiences. It's just that I remember mine all the time. But, um, so anyway, um, but yeah, yeah, I need, I'm, I'm going to do a video on some of the dreams and stuff and virtual reality experiences that people have told me that they had, you know, so it's obvious everybody's getting these experiences. They just don't document them like I do. Um, uh, and I mean, they may not get as many as me, that's possible, but they are getting them from time to time. Okay, so, um, or like I say, maybe some people don't have implants, but I, I don't believe that. I believe all people are experiencers, abductees, maybe, they may, maybe not being physically abducted. They don't physically abduct very often. That's just all propaganda bullshit. I mean, they, they physically abducted me, you know, twice after... I knew they were in my house after my brain awoken. And, um, but I know they physically abducted me before because I actually had a flashback in 2010. I haven't talked about that yet, but that was, um, anyway, I had a flashback and now I realized that was a freaking flashback of a physical abduction because I know that because I, the, when I became alert and I knew I was being physically sucked up out of bed twice when I was physically abducted in January 2014 and April of 2013, um, I had flashbacks. And, and so, so yeah, I know I've had more than two physical abductions. It's just that back when I was younger, my brain wasn't awoken to them, so I never had any kind of, you know, well, actually, I, I maybe did have some physical problems later, and I didn't realize it. Uh, but, um, yeah, because, like, like, that physical abduction in April of 2013, oh, my God, the it was a Wednesday uh, night, well, actually, Thursday morning, and then the next day, I was when I went to work and everything, I was just, like, so fatigued, I mean, and I felt so, you know, like, violated like I knew I had been taken I mean physically abducted and everything I knew I, I had been taken and everything and um I mean your body freaking knows it and I knew it I mean I remembered uh, what, anyway that experience is on here on the video I mean on my channel but I remember the beginning and I remember the end and then I had some flashbacks later on and the end of the experience, uh, before I opened my eyes, the gray, little military gray was standing there, and the UFO was right there, and then there was all these little beans behind uh, the doors or whatever. But anyway, um, your body knows it. You know, it totally knows it. I mean, you could, you know, tell you've been physically abducted and everything. Um, but not only that, I mean, it's very, there's a lot of stress on your body. But like I say, a lot of, some people may be physically abducted and their brain is awakened to see it. And then they wonder what, oh, why am I so fatigued and tired? You know what I mean? Um, but I, I knew why I was fatigued and tired the next day because my brain already awoken to that. But, um, but I just remember being really fatigued a lot. In my college years, so they, I mean, and they were tampering with me a lot. I don't know how much they physically abducted me back then, but they uh, tampered with me a lot, and I haven't talked about that yet. 
And, but then it makes me wonder because I was so fatigued a lot of times. Because I remember. Because why would I remember that, you know, for several months or a couple years or whatever? Probably because they physically physically abducted me a few times during that time. But, um, but like I say, since 2013, okay, 30, 40, I mean, that's eight years. They've only physically abducted me twice in almost eight years. Okay, so, um, I mean, most tamperings are not physical up out of bed removal. Most tamperings are at your bedside, yeah, and it's physical, physical or ethereal, at your bedside. Any moron knows that. Okay, so, uh, and, and most tamperings are freaking like what I'm talking about. Lucid dreams, out-of-body experiences, virtual reality experiences, dream dreams, remote views, travel remote views. Okay, so anyway, so yeah, so Monday, so this is lucid dream week for me. Monday, um, had the awesome experience in the hotel for hours and hours and hours and hours. And uh, Tuesday was for hours and hours and hours and hours. I was at the YMCA walking around, being lost for hours and hours and hours and hours. So Wednesday, this morning, I had two lucid dreams, out-of-body experience, virtual reality. reality. Well, actually, well, yeah, I mean, it's still virtual reality because it was so real. My lucid dreams are so real. So it's still virtual reality, out-of-body experience, lucid dreams. I had two this morning. But they weren't quite as long. I mean, they weren't as long at all as my experiences on Monday and Tuesday. But they were still, uh, they were still fun. They just weren't as long and uh, weren't quite as fun, I guess, because they weren't as long. So the two, and I was hoping I was going to get something better this morning. And I did talk to Joel to give me an out-of-body experience. But... Hopefully I'll get another one soon. Hopefully he's not gonna he's not gonna wait another seven months for me to get one. But okay, so but that last one he gave me, either it was him number one, which I believe it was him because sometimes he's bipolar, sometimes he's kind of mean, sometimes he's not, or it could have been another being that was kind of trying to mimic him or whatever. But, I, I, I mean, that one abduction where I said I was attacked in the closet, um, I think it was Joel, but like I say, it could have been another more rogue being. Uh, you know, but like I say, he's, um, I don't know, he's kind of bipolar. I mean, because sometimes they could be kind of mean and sometimes they could be kind of nice. So, I don't know, I still think it was him. It was either him, and he always does the same Oh, I mean, well, a lot of the beings, they do just a lot of sexual things. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, it could have actually been another being that gave me that experience. A more mean being. Um, that attack in the closet, which was like seven months ago. And that experience is on here. But that's how long it's been since, I, since I've had an out-of-body experience, virtual reality experience. Abduction. And yes, it is an abduction. And uh, like I say, physical abductions, are, there's a lot of stress on your body. And... You know, the gray aliens aren't stupid. They know that. That's why they don't physically abduct you every night like they give you lucid dreams every damn morning because there's no, you know, no stress on your body, basically. But they, like I say, even in lucid dreams, uh, they do things physically to me. You know, like they chopped off my finger, blah, 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 blah. I mean, they're still physical. I mean, it's like... Those, all those other dimensions are physical. Not truly physical, but they're still all physical. This dimension is really not physical, but ethereal. It's all ass backwards. Um, um, because true physical, you really wouldn't really get hurt because there's no such thing as physical. So that like this is all fake physical anyway. Uh, I don't know if I'm making much sense, but... Um, everything's ass backwards. So, so we're in a physical realm, but it's really not. You're really in an ethereal, hello, hologram. You're in a holographic reality. Holograms are freaking non-physical. When you go to those other dimensions, like lucid dream and stuff, I mean, they're still very physical. I mean, I mean, like like most of the time, I mean, they're still very physical. I can go up to things and touch things. I can knock things over. I can eat things and taste things, smell things. 
And, uh, what else was I, was I gonna say? Um, um, what was I gonna say? The physical, um, and also, um, the lucid dreams. What was I gonna say about lucid dreams? Uh, oh, yeah, and then sometimes, like, when the aliens have, have abducted me, sometimes I could touch myself and I'm physical, and, and a couple times I've touched myself and I was energetic. I was, I don't even know if you call that ethereal, I guess you do, but I would touch myself and I was freaking totally non-physical. And then other experiences, I'm out of body in a virtual reality scenario and I'm completely physical. So, I mean, it's all of the above. I mean, it's just everything. Um, but like people are stupid. They have this one track mind and have the thumb up their ass and they just can't get their head around anything else but oh only abductions are physical they're only uh, physical so when I sit there and call my out of body experience virtual reality experiences physical they get a get a thumb up their ass you know what I'm saying okay so um so anyway so Monday I had the awesome experience in the hotel Wednesday in the YMCA this morning it was just too quick out of body experience virtual reality experience lucid dreams and the first one went down like this okay so I had a voucher for a free motel room. I was in a strange town. Like I say, these experiences, a lot of my lucid dreams are B to C minus. Some are, some are A, A experiences, but that's why I don't talk, normally talk about these kind of lucid dreams, even though they're still a blast to me. Um, but, um, you know, but, you know, they're, um, B to C experiences, grade A, I mean grade B <laughs> to grade C experiences, you know, so like when I was in this, uh, I was in a strange city, the aliens didn't tell me what city I was in, I mean the more detailed and intricate it is, of course I'm going to rate a higher grade, okay, so, uh, uh, okay, so, uh, my, um, yeah, so this morning basically I was in, uh, I had a free voucher for a free motel room. Okay, so, and I was on, it seemed like I was on about the third floor. Okay, so I was hanging around the motel room, and uh, um, this woman, the aliens copied off this woman I just saw at the grocery store. She looked, I don't know, looks about 50 or 60 or whatever, because it almost seemed like, and I just saw her again tonight because I had to take something back to the store. So the aliens always copy whatever's in my brain. It could be something that happened a long time ago, any kind of vision, perception, whatever, in my brain thoughts, worries, whatever. It could be from 80 years ago or 20 years ago or from yesterday. They seem to like to put more recent stuff. Okay, so I was, uh, okay, so I was uh, in the motel room, and like I say, that woman, the aliens copied that from my brain and put her in my scenario. I started interacting with her. And uh, for long, and it, like I say, this experience lasted, you know, probably four or five hours. Um, you know, where I was hanging around the motel room and conversing with her. Why she was in my motel my motel room, I have no idea. But so then, for whatever reason, I had to go outside and I was ready to leave to go do something, buy groceries or something like that. And so I went down to the parking lot. And there was like a clump of like four young guys. It seemed like one or two were black. The other two were like white. But it was a clump of four guys and there was like a car here and a car there well my car was like here and there was some other cars in the parking lot and I was trying to I was trying to uh uh well I was trying to get to my car but they were like trying to steal my car and uh so like I say this wasn't a a plus experience but it still lasted like a long time but in words you can explain it in five ten minutes but yeah, so basically, basically I was hanging around the motel room for a long, 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 long time. And the voucher thing, the aliens copied that from my brain because, uh, because I had been talking to this guy in real life and, you know, if you're like sick or you're a veteran, you get free vouchers to get free motel room or free apartment complex or apartments or whatever. So the aliens copied that, you know, put that in the scenario. Okay, so my second experience, oh, no, this experience, okay, here we go again. The aliens love to put me in mansions. It goes way back. They like to mock. So the reason why they, they keep putting me in mansions 
and have been at least since the age of five or seven was because I wrote a letter to my aunt, my rich aunt, when I was like six, seven years old, and I said, it's a wonder you don't live in a mansion, because they always, I, knew, I always knew they were rich. And so I, I guess that's why the aliens forever keep putting me in mansions. Uh, they give me, they put me in mansions 20, 30, 40 freaking times a year, but they're a blast. Just not too long ago, they stuck me in my grandma's mansion. This is all, you know, virtual reality created by the aliens, virtual reality scenarios under lucid dream state. And um, it's not real life. And it doesn't mean I'm ever going to live in a mansion. I don't ever, ever want to live in a mansion. Never, never had the desire to, never wanted to, and um, never going to. Um, but the aliens, but under my lucid dreams, they're a freaking blast. But so many times they're like so creepy. I don't know. It's just creepy. You know, you're just walking around and it's your mansion and it's freaking 500,000 square feet. I mean, it's pretty freaking creepy. Okay. But, uh, so anyway, um, a lot of times they'll put me in a mansion that I bought or they'll put me in my aunt Elaine and uncle John's mansion. A month ago, they stuck me in my grandma's mansion. Okay, here's the funny part. This morning, it was my mom's mansion, and my mom had bought it because she got a good deal on it. This is all under Lucid Dream, OBE, Virtual Reality Experience. I was walking around, walking around. This mansion was one floor, with the exception of one little detail. Detail. It was one floor, and this mansion, um, I mean, it was just super long. It was almost exact replica of when they stuck me in my grandma's mansion a month ago. Except that one, this experience this morning was a little better. That one was more kind of more shittier experience when they stuck me in my grandma's mansion. Not so intricate and detailed. And, uh, but they do this over and over again. They stick me in these huge houses. Sometimes they are just really, really big houses. And nine times out of 10, they're actual mansions or, or you know, the aliens already programmed me to know that it's a mansion and not just a big house. So uh, this morning, and like I say, they've given me exact same scenarios before. Maybe not exactly the same, but 98% identical. Just like this morning. It was not. It was 98% identical to a bunch of other ones that they've given me. And um, except this time it was my mom's mansion instead of my grandma's mansion. And the mansion was basically one floor, you know, like freaking half mile long. And, uh, but like I said, this one was more detailed and intricate this morning. And this time it was my mom's mansion. And she said, uh, I, I mean, she bought it with, because she got a good deal on it. And because uh, the other family members uh, died or what, they died. And so they left. So everything, they didn't take anything out of the mansion. Everything was still in the mansion. And so I was like walking up and down the mansion and observing everything. And, uh, and everything looked really, really, really expensive. Okay. This here's the funny thing. It was already my mom's mansion, but I remember a strange man like walking around and I was like, okay, like what's he doing here? You know, but it's almost like she had, she had already bought it and everything, but yet there were still a few people coming to see the mansion, like as if they were trying to, uh, see if they wanted to buy, buy it, which was stupid because it was already my mom's mansion. She already bought it and got a good deal on it. And, uh, it was older. It was an older mansion, but it was still in good shape. But all the stuff in the mansion, I mean, look, all the little, um, uh, what do you call it? Knickknacks and everything. Everything looked real expensive to me. And, uh, the aliens have this way of doing stuff like that. Everything looked Everything was like so expensive or expensive looking. And another woman was walking around and she told me, she's like, uh, um, you know, you know, the family like had died off. And so that's why everything is left in the mansion. But she said, uh, everything that was of value, diamonds, gold, whatever had already been removed. Anything that was expensive or valuable had already been removed. From the mansion, I guess other, you know, survivors, maybe the aliens didn't tell me that, but I guess the other survivors came and got everything out of the mansion. But the main people that owned the mansion, they died off. And, and it was like, I just was walking around and I, I was just like, 
I don't believe that. I know there's expensive crap in here. I mean, I, you know, diamonds, watches, whatever. I knew there was going to be expensive crap left behind in that mansion because everything already looked so expensive. Uh, anyway, everything was so expensive looking. And, uh, so, um, I, I don't know. It's, it's really, uh, it's really hard to explain. Okay, so yeah, so everything, but so I didn't believe her when she acted like everything was already removed that was of value. I didn't believe her for, for one second. Because like I said, everything was so expensive looking that was left behind and everything was left behind, like I say, except according to her, if there was diamonds or watches or something like that, that would have already been taken away. But I knew I, I didn't believe her. But I don't know, the aliens have this way, way of two, they just make things endless. Like, okay, so in this mansion... And they've done this time and time again in these big houses or mansions that they put me in. Like, every 20, uh, not 20 feet, every 12 feet, there would be a big old bathroom and then a bedroom. And then 20 more feet, another big bathroom and a bedroom. And it's just endless bathrooms and endless bedrooms. And it's just huge, huge, huge. And in this scenario, I was just, just walking because the mansion was like, Super long, but it was one floor. And um, and the aliens may be copying that from my brain. From There is this big, it's not a mansion, but it's a big, long house. And I always thought it was, and I actually been in that house. Yeah, I, over in that neighborhood in real life, there's this house that's super long. They may, they may be copying from that. And I actually been in that house because her name was Jenna. She was my friend Jenna in junior high school. And uh, it was one story, and it's just super long. And that's, that's where they're getting that from. And uh, so anyway, so, but it's just like, I mean, every 20 feet, a big old bathroom, bedroom, every 20 feet, a big old bathroom, bedroom, or, you know, a kitchen, and then 10 feet, another kitchen, and then another 10 feet, another kitchen. And I mean, who the hell could take care of that? That's huge. That's gigantic. And um, they do that time and time again. And I also remember going into the bathroom and looking at the big old tub and everything over to my right. Most everything was like, uh, like I was walking this way. Most everything was to my left, uh, the bedrooms and, and bathrooms and stuff. But at one point I kind of walked around the corner and I was observing, you know, the bathroom and it was like, uh, I don't know, just a big square tub. And, um, but the, I don't know, and they, they also have um, done that, just like what I said, they've done this before, uh, where, they, where I would be like in a big house that I had just bought, not necessarily mansion, but they would place me in this house that I bought, and like I say, there would be, it would be like six or seven bathroom house, and you know, six or seven bedrooms, and I would go into the bathrooms, and I'd be thinking, wow, you know, okay, all I gotta do is just kind of clean the walls, and I'll have it all spick and span. I think because the aliens know I'm kind of OCD, but it, everything was still in immaculate condition. It was just dirty. Like everything just needed to be cleaned and stuff. I don't, they do that a lot. I, don't, I guess because they know I'm OCD. Okay, so anyway, so basically, okay, they just did this recently, like three times in the past year or whatever, when they would stick me in these mansions again. Okay, so as I proceeded to walk down the big old hallway and looked at all the bathrooms and the bedrooms and everything um like I said it was on the same side again um I, I looked up and like I say it wasn't really they just did that recently they totally did that recently and I never talked about that because like I say it was just like these experiences like a C C plus experience um they gave me a scenario recently where I was in another mansion where it wasn't really a second floor mansion but I had like it was just kind of an upper level, just like an up, upper level uh, that I looked up and it was like, uh, but it was another floor and um, it was like the little kid, uh, the little, the young kid's bedroom, but it was a huge bedroom and that's where the kids played and I looked up there and um, the floor, this is kind of funny, the flooring was, uh, just stacked rocks. The aliens copied that from my brain. Like it said, the flooring being like wood or concrete or a uh, 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 laminate flooring. 
And I was like, looking. And I was just like, you know, like weird. The flooring was like just these uneven rocks, you know, like three rocks. And it was just all rocks, the flooring. And above the flooring, like I say, was this big, huge bedroom. And, 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 the, and their little play area, that's where the kids played. And I don't know what my mom planned on doing, you know, with that, you know, with that floor or whatever. But like I say, it wasn't really a second level mansion, but it just had that upper level uh, where it was just a big old room. And, and the aliens copied that from my brain with the rocks because I had been bringing rocks like that over to my house from my parents' house in real life. So they copied all of that. But I was just like, wow, you know, weird floor with the rocks. And because, you know, you could almost make a foundation uh, or a little guard garden thing. Some people do a little garden. Thing. Well, actually, that's what my parents did. They'll, and they're going to like break it up in real life. And I had been taking in real life all the little rocks to put out in my yard and stuff. So the aliens like uh, copied off of that and put that in my scenario. But I don't know. It's just and, and then when I'm walking around these scenarios, like, I don't know, the aliens just have this way of just making you feel like, wow, everything is so neat. Like, like I'll be walking around and I'll just be thinking, wow, that's like so neat up there. You know, it's so neat to have another little level. It's a big, huge, it was way bigger than my house, big, huge room. And that's where uh, the aliens already programmed for me to think that, that that's where the children, the younger kids, uh, you know, played up there. And uh, but apparently they were dead.